Welcome back to more of D4. Apparently, uh, Zapatero and Olivia Jones have both disappeared. That's interesting. Didn't know that. Anyway, just rebooted the game after it crashed, uh, as well as uh, Xsplit, because it also crashed at the same time for probably the exact same reason. Oh, I forgot to talk to you. Yeah, first Pokey. Woo! Oh. Ma chérie, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in D.C. Ooh, I think some Chardonnay might be nice. This is sparkling green. green. Break. Eyes. Hey, excuse me. She's Suki, not a mannequin. Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash you. my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about your mannequin. <laughs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Your choice is in fashion. So terrible. Yeah. How can one walk outside wearing that? Um, uh, military maniac. When did you become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? <sighs> Progress cannot be stopped. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent. Like fluttering petals. Like and tears in rain. New inspiration is going to just explode into my brain. Like... Oh, uh, of... And mm, uh, mm, God, golf court. Avant God, Eureka! All right. Your exclamation just lifted the fog from my brain in a flash. Now, say it with me. Oh, God. This will be my next theme. Okay. Got to help, man. A broken mannequin. Your mannequin, I mean, is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. <laughs> so yeah, oh, she's uh, manufactured no uh, so character paint. Unbelievably smooth. My Suki. Suki, you are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on <laughs> She really was it very smooth. Like real Suki. Is it just what's going on here? Alright, there we go. Cutting edge of fashion. Power, red color. Red powder. You've got red powder on your clothes. What is it? Uh, oh, uh, drug using uh, motherfucker! Oh, excuse me, 
Now then, uh, where exactly is this red powder on my clothing? I don't see anything at all. <sighs> God damn it, you red blood snorting bastard. An elite fashion designer. And a mysterious powder? My instincts as a former narcotics detective tell me something's up. I'll question it and find out more. Fashion woes about real blood, about D. Have you heard of real blood? Oh, of, of course I have. It's a cocktail containing tomato juice. Tomato uh, juice. Not even close. Okay, fuck oh, it. You must mean that old cult movie. Or that specialist retailer aimed at uh, teenagers. Is this just bluster? Is he trying to hide something? I need to find another way in. Okay, uh, fashion world. Brilliant lights cast deep shadows. What's that supposed to mean? Musicians, artists, designers, top clientele for drug pushes. I don't deny it. And you're one of them too? I don't need that stuff. I've got Suki. There's nothing that can possibly stimulate me more than her. Comparing her to the effects of mere chemicals, synthetic drugs, <laughs> you may as well just slap her in the face. Fashion world about D, about real blood. Let's keep pushing on fashion. No, okay, fuck. I'm Your average peasant may require the stimulation of drugs. But I most certainly do not. I've got Suki. Mm -hmm. Keep asking, and I'll keep telling you the same thing. Okay, so maybe now I push on real blood? Yeah, okay. Yours is a world of trends, isn't it? No! Well, there no! Are no! Drugs fuck too. off, computer! Jesus Christ! Really? Really, computer? Really? Fucking really? Fucking Windows uh, Drive version stop responding. Cecily recovered it. God damn it! I keep fuck. I, Windows 10 cannot come out soon enough. Jesus Christ! All right, BRB. Jeez Louise. Okay, back again. Another crash happened in the meantime. Anyway, so uh, back to where we were. Yours is a world of trends, isn't it? Well, there are trends in drugs too. You're sensitive to trends, right? You know what I'm talking about. Real blood. The ultimate drug. Considered the final and best of the blood series. Hmm. As the name might suggest, it's a bright red powder. Just like the suspicious powder I saw on your clothing. Bum bum bum. You seem quite desperate to paint me as a junkie. But you're just overthinking things. The substance you question is nothing like that silly, real blood. It's far more wonderful, revolutionary, like a completely new age. For now, well, just call it D. Well, shit. This new age about D. Oh. I want to push on D, but I kind of feel like to get information out of him, I have to just sort of kind of probe the areas where he's clearly interested. Tell me more about this new age. Mm -hmm. Hmm. No comment. If it's all legit, surely you can tell me about it. Mm. It isn't time to reveal anything yet. You'll hear about it soon enough, along with the rest of the world. So you're planning on spreading a new age called D across the entire world simultaneously? <laughs> no comment. Hmm. This guy could be a lot more dangerous than he looks. Yeah, I'll that's right. Taunting him a little. Oh, new age about D. Uh, well, I've already kind of hit on the new age thing, but. Okay, cool. I've worked it out. The D of this new age is the D from Duncan. 
In other words, you want to make your own name the symbol of this new age. The whole world will be under the spell of the red powder that bears your name. But that isn't art. It's just attention seeking. The desire for conquest. Just another wannabe dictator. Holy shit. Is that what Suki wants? Oh shit, dude. Say whatever you like. It's not like you can stop me. Oh crap. She just got real. This Holy guy crap. is tougher than I thought. He knows I don't have anything on him, okay? I'll slap him with some proof. Something he can't run away from. All this talk of a new age called D, though. I just hope my bad feeling about all this is way off the mark. Off the Mac. Man. Why did I even think to try this? I Good must question. be getting tired. Oh, I forgot to push you. <laughs> Alright, I was gonna my go turn, and asshole. My turn, asshole. Alright, I forgot I was going to go and do the uh, other side mission. First, let's grab some some munchies because I'm actually pretty low on stamina. Yeah. Munch, 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 munch. There we go. That'll keep me perfect condition. Thanks, kitten. Okay. You are with your weirdly rendered face. Okay. Nope. Okay, let's do your job now for you. Hey, dumbass! <laughs> I like I you. I can't believe it. This aircraft is full of danger. Further investigation. You've had enough rest now, surely. We need to restart the investigation. Go get to work. Three, Ready? two, Set. one. Hurry, Gentlemen, hurry. start your engines. Okay. Thought there was one over there. Guess I was wrong. Okay, whatever. Keep going. Just gonna check one side at a time. It's kind of like, you know, go down the aisles, hit everything on one side. Then I'll. I wanna, come on. All right. Then I will move further along. Yeah, boy. Okay. That's how it's gonna be. Okay, did I already get the stuff on the other side? Yeah, that's just her. Okay. Okay, and... Nope. Was there something there? Did I? Oh, I thought I saw something. Never mind. Okay, wait a second. I'm definitely missing one. Because it should be a, uh, a bit of 14. I well, definitely found a few more that I hadn't seen before, but it's still way too low. And I also need to move Phil Cheney out of the way. Damn. Damn wound blast. Yeah, because I probably have to move Cheney out of the way. Let's double check, make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it, okay. That was what I was missing. Thought I, you know, sure I missed one, but alright, so. Yeah, I guess uh, the last here probably. Probably next to Cheney. Oh, those are some ships. Fuck, man. Those are delicious. Okay, no, wrong one. Alright, now I do want to give up. Come on, give me the actual give up screen now, please. Okay, I give up. So yeah, I've done the last two, so... Alright. Didn't. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take another break. 
Okay, so let's deal with Shaney first. Also, big guy. When did you move to this seat? Hmm, deeper the handkerchief. He's sitting. When indeed. Oh, you are weird. Young Mr. Young. So funny you would ask. What does He's an that mean? If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. You of all people should understand. Okay. If time changes, so too does place. Time is of the essence. You mentioned that, brother. All right, lightning strike. That lightning strike. How did you know about it before it even happened? Don't tell me you can control lightning strikes. Your ability to look is not bad, but you need to be able to observe a little more carefully. Okie dokie then. Uh, look around. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing here, man. Dude. Brother. Oh, hello. Oh, no, I missed it. What are you looking at? You can't get rid of me like that. Mr. Young. Uh. Just looking is not enough. You must observe. observe. I'm sure you understand the difference. Alright, who's been looking observing? I don't have time for a lecture. Just answer my question. I thought that That's I, I did. did. Alright. Observe carefully, and you'll get it. Okay, so round two? Yeah. Okay, I got this, I got this. Okay. What did you observe? The engine isn't damaged. You have good observational skills. Thanks, though you, you might need to work on your already know diction. The answer. Am I correct? A uh, location of the courier. Do you know what happened to the courier? Two pieces of evidence it remaining. It might be said that right. I do okay. and it might he said be he don't. said that I don't Fantastic. if time changes Price changes so too does place you you talk very very slowly time man time is of the essence of the essence Thanks. Either way, Mr. Anderson, Young, you cannot ask me to do, do your job for me. For you. Okay. Location of Olivia. What about that female member of the cabin crew? You mean Olivia Jones? You saw her. I did. Did 
she remind you of little Peggy? You are very knowledgeable, man. Uh, let's see, Cl Clover. The fuck? What's going on here? What have you done to me? Can Boston. You finally see them. What? These are things with a special meaning. What the for fuck? You. Who's from Boston? What are you talking about? Catch them if you can. What in God's name is going on? You may discover something about, about her? her. Okay, Clover Touch. Thank you. Clover. Ireland, Boston. Memories of her. Don't let them slip away. Okay, thank you, man. Game start! Clover touch! Holy Jesus, okay. Oh no, don't. You gotta avoid hitting the red arrows. I assume. Uh. This is much harder on the connect, I assume. Shit. Oh, the NBC logo. Oh, Super Clover. Ah, blah, 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 blah. What is this? Is this gonna be the D4 mobile game? Oh no, I froze everything. Oh, frozen was good. Booyah! Hey, fuck you, tall man. What are you talking about? Mr. Young? Young, I've placed a memory, memory left by her in, in your, your house. House? What? That memory. Belongs to, to her? You, you, okay, me. Mr. Mr. Young. Young. Case closed! Okay, so I'm gonna have to go back to my house to pick up somebody. Alright! Alright then, I don't have a problem with that. Gain rewards based on score. What's he talking about? Leaving something in my house. A memory with her. Clover. Little Peggy? Could it be? Little Peggy? What do you know about Little Peggy? Oh god, why did I bother clicking on that? Blue eyes. <laughs> and a mole by her eye. Did and the yeast infection was pretty nasty. Of the same soap, too. Just how much do you know? Everything you told me, all of it yourself, Mr. Mr. Young. I, I get it. Young. You're overlaying your. Of little Peggy onto Olivia, aren't you? Uh, 
Oh, God, no, please. Uh, I just, just keep asking questions. Who are you? It was a snowy night. The owl? I remember it very well. Calling it right now, I think he's the owl. Is a man doing okay? A cat? Amanda? You know her too? Her well being is a good thing. A good indication of your own well being. Miss. Very young. I get it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we're done talking, we're done talking. Fantastic. I'm gonna talk to Cheney before we go back in time, to, or back to the apartment, which is forward in time. So we can, I don't know, find the missing memories. And do all the fucking bullshit. Hmm. It's like I'm not even here. Oh, okay. Pushing someone actually finally did something. Oh dear. Control will be an issue if I can't find this. Huh. Hitler, I didn't know you were on this plane. Sir, can I help you with anything? Where's Olivia? Excuse me, sir. Exactly which Miss Olivia are you searching for? Olivia Jones. She's a member of the crew, just like you are. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't aboard this flight. Come on. Did that lightning strike you too? She was right here a moment ago. In any case, you need to contact Logan Airport immediately. Tell them we have an emergency up here. Emergency? Holy also, shit, so Boston. Get the BPD to send some cops to the airport. Whoops. Detective Forrest Kazen in particular. Give him my name and you'll have no problems. Well, excuse me, sir. Are you hoping to use this confusion for something nefarious? Holy shit, you're so evil looking. If so, I'll have to stop you. Ugh, damn Next it. time, I'll break more than your watch. Come on, one hand. Oh shit, so his watch is broken because we broke it. <laughs> Holy shit. My most humble apologies, Mr. David Young. This incident has us all a little riled up, I'm sure. Huh? I'll make the call about the suspicious person immediately. To our destination. <laughs> Ronald Reagan International Airport. Now, if you'll excuse me, Wait, that's I need to get back to work. This isn't even the same flight anymore. The fuck? What's going on here? Holy shit, I thought we were just like a little bit further back in time, but apparently we're like... On totally different flights or something. Jesus, what the hell? This shit's crazy. Oh, it's the uh, megaphone. Oh, and there's definitely a window, so I mean, it's probably yeah, I was probably right about this. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. What a beautiful sunset. It reminds me of the day I proposed. Oh, what the hell? Oh, it's, it's a little Peggy. Hey, little Peggy. How you doing, girl? Hey, good for you, then. Little Peggy. I'll find who killed you. I will. Apparently, it was over. Uh, put her on that swing up in the middle of the air. Oh shit! No, I found all the evidence, but I still have side quests to do. I want to go back in time. No! I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. Be champagne as soon as we arrive in DC. I'm very sorry, sir. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved.
Grazer. Marshal, are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you the same uh, trick won't God work twice. Damn it. Although it's still the first uh, time for you. Two of the same pen! The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. Ching. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? <laughs> the destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain oh, yourself shit. clearly! <laughs> I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. <laughs> Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing, something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rat. Investigator. I'm going to be killed. <laughs> killed? Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally vanished. They were the end of the episode. They didn't vanish at all. They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft, heading for Washington. Dun dun dun. In other words, they didn't vanish. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. Oh shit. Not on into it anymore. Can't dive. I don't feel anything from either one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? I like when you look like Hitler. It was just starting to grow out. It's such a waste. Little Peggy, what should I do? What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Oh shit! That's one way of ending an episode. Fuck! Alright, yeah. Holy shit. Remo Brian! That's full changing, okay. Bam! Zoom! Galaxy of Terror! Mastery solved! Results 1 of 2. 2 of 2. Fluids ingested 134 ounces. Caffeine ingested 30, uh, for, uh, 38 fluid ounces. Alcohol ingested 12 fluid ounces. Yeah, I wasn't drinking that heavily. 
5,919 calories ingested. No wonder Dave doesn't eat so much of dinner. This has traveled 772 yards. Not bad. Okay, just pushed 250. Ob uh, objects pushed 68. Meals eaten 15. Drinks consumed 17. Little Peggy letter. Okay, so that's probably what I should have picked up from the uh, the giant if I'd actually gone back in time when I should have. Ooh! S uh, skate out shirt. Season 1, episode 1. Okay. Okay, so that definitely was the end of episode 1. So, uh, see you guys for episode 2.